Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Soki Light and welcome to the first A3 gameplay, E3 gameplay reveal of Three Kingdoms. I'm pretty excited about this. Uh, to be honest, I, I, when I woke up this morning, I, uh, I saw it and I watched it already before I went off to work. Couldn't really do a video already and I um, know I'm a little late to the party, but that's okay. Uh, I just got off work, so I thought, like, why not, uh, why not go through it with you guys together? And, and talk about, uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about what, what, what we see and what we know so far about this game. And just give my opinion. And, you know, uh, just leave your comments, uh, leave your opinion in the comments. Uh, let me know what you think of, uh, you know, uh, the Three Kingdoms, uh, what we've seen so far. Now, we do know that it's been delayed about six months. It's now coming out spring 2019. Uh, that's a bit of shame, but, you know... I would prefer a finished Total War instead of them rushing it. And we know that the game has two Total War uh, campaigns. One classic mod, which is a, a more grounded, historical, authentic Total War experience. And then one more romanticized uh, campaign map experience that will be based on the romance of three kingdoms uh, which is a book of the 14th century uh, century historical novel one of the four great novels of china i think wrote by luo gunzang if i say that correctly uh, so that is what we know so far and now we're gonna get some more information about the game so let's just uh, go in here and see the first look at total war three kingdoms Today we're going to be playing through a single battle. It's 199 CE and the events of the Three Kingdoms era are well underway. The tyrant Dong Zhuo is long dead, murdered by his adoptive son Lu Bu. He's one of the greatest warriors of the period, who is now threatening to combine his strength with Wan Shu and overwhelm all opposition. However, Lu Bu sits in CRP, isolated from his would-be ally. The legendary commander Cao Cao senses an opportunity to strike Lu Bu down before his strength becomes too great. After months of long siege warfare and with the defenders starved of resources, Cao Cao now senses the time is right. Here, behind the walls of CRP, Lu Bu stands in the center, preparing to fight against the approaching march of Cao Cao. Here we are on the back. All right, here we have uh, the first idea of what the uh, battle is going to look like. We've got the UI, uh, we've got the units, uh, we have the city there from afar. Now, uh, uh, let's take a look at this, how the units uh, look like there in the roster. This is uh, obviously probably the, the more romanticized version. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure of it. More, more romanticized version of the Total War experience that we're going to get. And here, every uh, you have more generals. Or more leaders and they all have their uh, uh, units to control or to uh, you know fight around with and they all give different buffs they're gonna talk about it later as well but you know you have these uh, here you can see this is a warrior type this is strategic dude and this is also strategic dude this is Sao Sao himself and they give uh, uh, various buffs to their armies based on what type of uh, leader there they are so that and you know so this dude gives buffs to his unit and and so forth and now the rest of the ui here you can see the power uh, struggle i guess balance of power we can see the city here now we don't i don't know for sure if they're gonna do it like warhammer where you can only attack from one side or uh, i would prefer that they're gonna do it like the other total or historical total wars you can just attack all around like where you want to attack from uh, you can see here, I think, how many units there are in total on the battlefield. I'm not sure. Um, I don't know, man. And here, maybe how many units there are on the battlefield. Uh, it's spring, so we've got some nice weather. Here you can see the victory point, how far uh, you can win the battle by winning the victory point. Here you can also see the, where the enemy generals are located. So that's uh, made a lot more clear. You can uh, perfectly see where they are. And 1%, I guess, uh, how far the city got destroyed so far. All right, let's continue. The final assault is about to begin. We have Cao Cao, the legendary commander, leading his men into battle. We're going for a two-pronged approach. Cao Cao shall lead his forces through the breach, while Yi Jin will march his forces to the gatehouse and smash through and take the main concourse. But before we move forwards, we need to lay the groundwork for our assault. We're going to raise their walls to the ground. 
Right, so I really hope that uh, <laughs> a wall doesn't go down that quickly normally. Maybe it has been damaged already a bit more. Uh, I don't know. Well, we'll have to wait and see. Let's take a look at these heavy spear guard. They're currently in the turtle formation, using their tall shields together, with the flag bearers in the center to protect from missile fire, which will greatly aid us in this assault. Looks like an awesome formation there. The units, also the details already look really, really awesome. Uh, you can see it's a development in progress, so they'll probably tweak it a little bit more. But already it looks really cool with the shields and the armors, and here the, the you know the Chinese flags and stuff. So it's pretty, uh, pretty uh, cool, man. Luvu is holding his position in the center of CRP, waiting for someone worthy enough to fight. In Three Kingdoms, there are unique items which can be given to your generals. Here we see Lubu's horse and weapon are unique to him. But should he be slain, you could loot his items and keep them for yourself. Here we have so that uh, that sounds a bit more like arcadish kind of gameplay, you know. Uh, reminds me a lot of Warhammer as well. Where you can just give uh, unique uh, items and armors and stuff like that. More RPG focused, I guess, uh, to your generals, uh, which can also be stolen by others if he gets killed or something. Uh, but, you know, it would be a lot cooler though. They didn't really do that in Warhammer, but it would be a lot cooler if you can actually see the armor or the horse or, uh, you know, the, the weapons that you give to your uh, generals if you can actually see that on the battle map so that you can make them look really really awesome uh, I would I would like I would love that if they did that one of our generals under Samson. different generals can recruit different kinds of units these two are leading their forces together Yi Jin is a guardian type hero our combat master who excels in the heart of battle tanking and soaking up damage while our strategist is not great in a fight, he is incredibly useful for debuffing enemy units and allows us access to unique formation types. Alright, so like I said before, like these generals give certain buffs to their armies. Um, I don't know if, I, if, I'm, if I'm gonna like this uh, this gameplay. Luckily we do if this mod, you know, this romanticized mod. Luckily you also get, you know, the classic mod, the normal authentic Total War experience. Uh, here generals are on their own and in that one, you know, generals have their bodyguard unit and are, can be uh, Just nor normally killed, you know, they're a lot They're a bit stronger, of course, uh, like always than the other units But uh, in this one where all the generals are on their own as Apart from maybe the strategic like this warrior guy is probably a one-man army and can just take on whole units maybe and, and you get really cool fights between these uh, uh, warriors as well, but we're gonna see that later in this game, in this video. The on the left is now wide enough for us to make our great assault on the settlement. Cao Cao and his retinue are gonna move up. Cao Cao himself is a commander, and they excel at buffing up nearby allied troops, rather than wading into combat themselves. So we won't be seeing him being the first through the breach. He's too valuable for that. We will instead be pushing up the Yellow Dragons, they are being supported by the Azure Dragons, a hybrid heavy spear and missile infantry unit. They will first hold back and fire over the walls with their bows, and once they've spent all their ammunition, they will join in on the front line. Let's move our heavy spears forward to climb the walls. Now is the time to press the attack. Getting the Azure Dragons firing, and now charging forwards with the yellow dragon. Is there a heart beating in that spineless body? Is there a brain inside that cavernous head? These heavy hitting axe units are a formidable foe for anyone they go up against. They will make very short work of these spears. Right, so we, uh, we can see our first battle here. First of all, uh, those generals, you know, uh, spotting each other, uh, making comments about each other. That's pretty cool. It reminds me a lot about, uh, I think it was the first game I had for the Xbox One. Uh, Xbox One. The, 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 the first Xbox, like when I was 12 or something. I think it was called Dynasty Warriors. Uh, it reminds me a lot of that, these generals did as well. Cool game. And uh, all of this really, really also reminds me uh about uh, Tiger Knight Empire, I think it was called. It was a game I've played a lot free on Steam. It was a sort of, kind of a combination between Mana Blade and Total War. Really, really awesome game. Unfortunately, the developers decided to uh, not continue that one, so you can't play it anymore. 
But if you played it, man, uh, you know that 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 was uh, that was a cool game, man. Especially because it was free. Now here we have the first uh, battle. Uh, it was a bit chaotic. Uh, the first impression, not not really impressed by it. It uh, did look uh, a little bit blobby, and I, I don't see a lot of cool. Uh, animations that uh, you know like where they first started off in shogun 2 with these really awesome combinations and they continued with it in rome and attila then unfortunately in warhammer they stopped doing that uh, main reason was because otherwise the com all of our computers would just crash with all of the magic and big things exploding there uh, so you don't really have that in warhammer so I'm hoping they bring the, it back over here in a cool and new, uh, you know, uh, really realistic way. But uh, I can't really see it here, so hopefully they'll uh, add that later. Let's check up on the center attack. The settlement is now on fire from the barrage of arrows. And our men are getting over the walls. Okay, so now we can see how how are they gonna do the 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 wall attack again? You know, uh, it it has changed a lot over the years how you uh, how you scale walls and stuff. I mean, um, it used to be that you recruited ladders and siege towers and stuff like that, and then uh, in Shogun Two. Uh, and I think also in um, Empire and Napoleon, I don't really remember how it went there. I think with ropes as well, actually, but I'm not 100% sure. It's been a long time since I played that one. Uh, maybe I'll get back in to it soon. Um, and in Shogun 2, they just, they just climbed the walls without any equipment. But that was a perfect fit for uh, ancient Japan, I guess. Um, and then in, you know, in Warhammer... Uh, or I mean in uh, in Rome uh, and Attila, you also I, f I think oh man it's been, I mean I I've been playing so many Total Wars so that I just uh, sometimes I confuse them all. But I think there you also needed to yeah you also needed to recruit ladders. And then in Warhammer they did something that I didn't particularly like. Uh, every unit can just you know climb the walls at any moment and just spawn ladders out of nowhere. Uh, I, 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 I was a big fan of um, you know in Shogun 2 it fits you know but in Warhammer I would have preferred it if they just if you need to recruit ladders again just like in the old days. So as a defender you know uh, on which units to focus, try and take out the units that uh, carry the ladders before they can get to the walls. Uh, I would have liked that much more because in Warhammer any unit can just climb the wall everywhere anytime. Uh, and didn't really particularly like that, but here they got ropes, uh, which is cool because you know ropes is a li bit a little bit more realistic because ropes you can just you know put on your put on your thighs, put on your hips, or put on your back or something. Uh, in Warhammer that you just spawn ladders out of out of the blue, so that's pretty weird. But maybe they're gonna uh, you're gonna get ladders here as well that uh, you only use ropes when you really have to, and that, uh, because they work slower. I don't know. And maybe then you can make ladders and siege towers to get over the walls a lot quicker. I have absolutely no idea. Uh, there are no siege towers in this battle. Uh, I do think that they had siege towers uh, in this uh, in this period uh, about second and third, uh, uh, you know, the second and third centuries. I think they did, yeah they did have siege towers in China. I think so. Maybe uh, maybe they're just not here in this battle. But uh, yeah, so far so good. I guess I, li I like the rope stuff, man. Uh, it's a lot more realistic. By the way, this gate looks really, really awesome, really beautiful. The whole city looks awesome, uh, by the way. So uh, now we have two more generals over here with their own cavalry. Now you just saw this cavalry charge through the spearmen here. That's that's new. That cavalry can just charge through spearmen uh, there. I, you know, spearmen are supposed to be the anti-cavalry units. 
maybe this cavalry unit uh, in particular is just really really heavy and really insane but how they're going to change the cavalry mechanics and how that is going to work uh, i guess we'll have to see later but uh, so far uh, it's uh, really impressive how they charge through spearmen but if spearmen can't stop them then uh, then what can you know charge them into this spear infantry they're going to knock these guys flying and destroy them I mean, look at that shit. <laughs> Looks awesome, though. He was shot in the eye by an arrow in battle against Lu Bu. He pulled it out, his eye still attached to the arrow, and proceeded to eat it. Well, that's gross. Here, what you just saw, you can choose to... Uh, there was an option there. You can choose to duel uh, an enemy uh, general. Uh, here you can see it now. They're going to duel each other. Here you can see their, uh, their power as well. And all other, if they're, they are now alone, but if there would be other units fighting here, they will all ignore this fight and get a random. It's uh, really, really like, uh, you know, the Romans of the Three Kingdoms, that book. I haven't read it. I just read a summary about it. It's an, it's, I mean, that book is 600 years old. Uh, I can only read it in English. So then you get some kind of old English, which is really, really hard for me because, you know, I'm from the Netherlands. Uh, but maybe I uh, I will buy it sometime next year in uh, preparance for Three Kingdoms. With the historical total war, I always like to get into that era a little bit, so I know a little bit more about that stuff. Uh, but let's see how this uh, how this fight is gonna turn out. And head over to Lu Bu, who we're going to challenge to a duel. Duels are a new feature for Three Kingdoms, where the two heroes will duke it out in single combat until one either dies. Or retreats. Duels can help you single out an enemy combatant and take them out and turn the tide of battle. That was awesome, man. Right, that's the end of the video. But uh, yeah, yeah, those animations look really cool, man. And um, yeah, I don't know, it, uh, that romanticized version uh, of the game is uh, going to be really epic, I think. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to prefer. So far, what I've seen, I, I will probably prefer the, the classic mod, but we'll have to see a gameplay of that one as well. Um, and big tip, guys, if you don't want to read the book and if you want to uh, get into this area a little bit, more before Three Kingdoms comes out. There's this movie, it's a Chinese movie. Uh, Red Cliff, I've seen it uh, many, many years ago. It consists of two parts, about two and a half hours. It's combined five hours, it's long for a movie. Uh, but it's really awesome. You get Lu Bu in there, you get Cao Cao. It's all about this era. It's a big Chinese undertaking, uh, that movie, with big battles, really cool strategic uh, 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 you know, things in there. Uh, strategic battles, uh, stuff like that. You got all the characters in there. Uh, big fights like these, what you just saw, uh, general against general, with the twirly stuff and uh, going around. Not really, really realistic, but it's an it's an awesome movie, man. So so go check it out. So right, guys, that's the end of my video. Uh, you know, if you if you want to give your opinion uh, of this, uh, of what you've seen so far of Three Kingdoms, if you're excited or not, uh, feel free to leave that in the comments. And if you're looking forward to Three Kingdoms, and if you like this video, then um, go ahead and leave a like. And if you're new to my channel, and if this is the first video you're seeing, uh, go check out my my other content if you uh, if you want to. I do a lot of legendary playthroughs. Uh, most of it of Warhammer, also Trans of Britannia. Uh, soon, if I've got the time and if they stop bringing out new stuff for Warhammer, I'm gonna try and get into uh, some of the older Total Wars as well, uh, like Rome 2 or, or Shogun 2. I really uh, love those games as well back in the day. Well, it hasn't been that long, but well, seven years, eight years, it's actually a long time ago. <laughs> But uh, yeah, so and go check it out. And if you like it, you know, and you, if you want to support my uh, small little content, uh, small channel, then, um, you know, hit that subscribe button. Would really appreciate that. It would really help me out and grow a little bit more and get a little bit more attention from uh, Total War fans. So yeah, guys, thank you all for watching and I will see you uh, very soon.